Welcome to game two, Loveness versus Woof. Again, Loveness smashed Woof horribly in game one. 500 VP victory. Now Loveness, of course, playing allies. He's picked Soviets, and Woof will play as his oldest here in the south. Try to find some way to recover this series. We've got mechanized support, guard motor, and shock rifle for Loveness, so he's not even messing around. Versus Woof's lightning war, elite troops, and mechanized assault. He's not messing around either. Combat engineers working on the north. Woof will go with extra pios, apparently, sending them towards the south fuel, giving himself a little bit of extra capping power, but not a whole lot of firepower. Pios on their way to take the fuel and strategic points. Dude, Lumpy. Lumpy's so on point with that shit. Look at that. <laughs> Conscripts grabbing the north fuel. This squad grabbing the right side munitions. Comet engineers grabbing the left side VP. Wolf is going to start rotating around a little bit. You can already tell the opening engagement going totally differently with Wolf just avoiding his opponent, skirting around him with his opening pio squads. Won't have a second Grenadier squad available to support until much later because of his decision to go double Pios, and he doesn't really seem like he's spreading out and getting that much map control either. Having to spend a lot of time just in motion, sending this one left. So his capping order this game looks like it's already already disadvantaged him a little bit, and he's going to be up against three squads of conscripts soon. Loveness spreading out very rapidly and taking territory with... Uh, not only his combat engineers, but also his conscripts. He's going to stop in green cover over here, but the other two squads keep moving, jumping from sector to sector. First engagement looks like it'll be joined in the middle between conscripts and grenadiers. Grenadiers catch them building that green cover. They might be able to win at long range if both squads show up to the fight, but it looks like that's that ship has now sailed. It's not going to happen. He's just kind of standing in yellow cover and trying to hold a tiny bit of territory. Probably not enough. He doesn't have a munitions point under his control. Four strategic points, five soon is okay. You really want to hold a munitions point, though. Working the munitions flanks on this map is, is one of your biggest challenges as Ost Terror. And Wolf will walk Grenadiers straight into Conscript setup in green cover. Lost that engagement. Needs to get away. Takes only minor damage, so that's alright, but he needs to find a way to overwhelm that or flank that position. Green cover set up here in the middle now. Wiring off green cover positions on the left. More conscripts advancing down the left side. These grenadiers will probably fail in this engagement. Pio's moving up to support, but conscripts moving on their flank. But grenadiers moving on their flank, so I'm not sure how this engagement's going to evolve. Flamethrower arrives just in time to support against these troops moving into close range. Combat engineers will move up to do light damage to this squad from the left side. Meanwhile, simultaneous engagement on the right. Grenadiers moving to flank the conscripts while they're focus firing Pios. But full squad of Pios got wiped over here. They must have got flame critted hard. Surprised that went down before I was even able to move back and check the engagement. Pio's going in here. Wolf definitely takes this engagement easily. There's the retreat from Love Nest, and over here in the center, Grenadiers are trying to focus the flamethrower down, but they're taking too much damage, and it looks like a full retreat from Wolf. Bad opening engagement for him. He lost one of his opening squads of Pio's. Love Nest didn't really lose much of anything, and he's going to take control of Wolf's fuel while he trades for the right side of munitions, which is not. A great trade, obviously. We are losing the sector. There goes that squad. MG42 isn't very capable of defending the fuel points since Levness has already got a green cover position built here. Wolf will probably need a flamethrower or maybe even mortar at this point to unseat Loveness from his defensive position that he is establishing right outside of Wolf's base. He's been forced to retreat way too many times. He's lost a full squad, and Lo that's not uh, not something you can really let happen against Loveness. He will box you in hard. 
You need to set up a defensive line very fast and hold it. I think his decision to go with an extra Pyo squad hurt him a little bit in that endeavor. Really messes with your timings, and you didn't get enough map control to make that worth it. Obviously. Mines. Grenadiers step on a mine over here on the right side. Levin is planting them in various locations. Trying to bleed Wolf's eventual advance as his, grenadier, uh, as his conscripts get pushed off their green cover positions. Levin has gone tier 2 and fielded a Maxim. Interestingly enough, he's also chosen mechanized support. Probably going to start making guards soon. Grenadier is going to try and work here on the center victory point. Conscripts charging into short range. We'll probably force them from this position. Looks like the conscripts are losing the engagement, though. Yeah, so Wolf will at least take that area. Grenadiers hit another mine on the right side, bleeding further. Although, three model losses on two mines is actually pretty good luck. MG42 is pulling out of the arc of fire of that Maxim. These Grenadiers are going to retreat. Loveness will keep the triple cap, or not triple cap, he's losing the center point, but he's... We're going to continue holding pretty much the entire right side of the map, holding everything but a strategic point on the left and continuing to trade for the center fuel, or south fuel, so... Huge map advantage, which you will use to tech to tier 3, try and rush out a T-70 or half-track. Probably half-track, I think, is more his style. I think he usually gets a mortar at this point, roughly, too, after the half-track, to help him uh, maintain an aggressive front line where he can reinforce and utilize indirect fire to beat his opponent back down into the base. I heard another mine... I don't know what hit it. I think a full squad got wiped on a mine somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly what happened. Yeah, full squad of Grenadiers wiped right there. Ouch. Three squads taking control of everything in this area. More Grenadiers on their way out. Wolf has lost two full squads already. I don't think Loveness has lost anything by comparison. Loveness also in the lead for uh, model losses. Units killed. Now we can sweep for enemy mines. We are ready for action. Grenadiers ready. Grenadiers about to get pushed off the right side. Already have half health. Get caught out of cover. Conscripts will make it to very short range without taking any damage on the approach. So there goes another mine. Three model losses. Full retreat from the right side. And any attempt at map harassment over there gets shut down hard. Grenadiers making their way up the left side. We'll walk into Conscript setup in green cover, I think. They also have been denied usage of this green cover position, so Conscripts will probably be able to, <laughs> with that early snipe especially, have no problem forcing this harassment attempt back into the base. Here's tier 2 for Wolf, which is extremely late, but I mean, he probably pretty much has to get that up right now to, to protect himself from what Loveness is about to field, which is a T-34-76 AT gun. Will be required just to Cling to this game. You guys listen to me if you want to 350 VPs you remaining for Wolf off. while he tries to find opportunities. That's not good. <laughs> oh, mine doesn't explode. Oh, he canceled it, I think. Oh, no, it's there. 
Tried to pick up a wipe on that squad, planting a mine, almost nailed it. Didn't get lucky enough, though, the mine didn't go off. He knows there's a mine there, though, probably. Grenadier's working on the flamethrower from multiple angles. Over here on the right side, guards work on this territory. LMG Grins making their way left. Probably still can't beat those conscripts, though, unless... A minesweeper flanks, apparently. <laughs> here comes the T-34, making its way down the right side. And guards are winning their engagement against two squads of Grenadiers. That one has to retreat quick. PTRS is just shredding everything. Guards beat two squads of Grenadiers and only take one model loss. That Grenadier squad got wiped. This one retreating. The Grenadiers were in open ground, the guards had yellow cover, so... Wow. Pyos start working on the munitions and this Grenadier squad will continue its advance left. T-34 is on its way to shut down this harassment attempt and here comes the AT gun for Wolf. He's now lost two full squads of Grenadiers compared to Love Nest, nothing lost. I, again, I thought Love Nest was going to go half-track mortar, that's what I've normally seen from him in the past, but I guess... I guess he thought T-34 was a better decision against the potential of mechanized assault. Maybe he wanted to protect himself from the, uh, the possible Stug E, which his opponent actually still can't even field if he wanted to. Now it's too late. At least too late to do so uncountered. I don't think there's any chance of him making it to Tiger Ace. I don't think there's any commander features that can save him from his current situation. Without Love Nest making some sort of horrible error. And that just makes things worse. T-34 snipes the squad there. Grenadiers hit another mine right. And I think the game is rapidly going from almost hopeless to definitely hopeless. <laughs> keeps working the right side conscripts working on grenadiers in the middle keep them boxed in doesn't really look like wolf has has any way to recover this game he keeps on sending lone squads to various flanks of the map not may, not really encountering any success I'm pretty sure at this point the only way he's gonna break through of this is if he dedicates basically his entire army to one push for one side of the map just to try and get a little territory back because lone squad harassment in any direction is obviously failing. A T gun is set up to protect the flank. He suspects the T-34 is going to work its way around from behind. Grenadier is making an attempt for the left. And it looks like Wolf is going to send pretty much his whole army left with just his team weapons protecting in the middle. T-34 is going to reveal itself here. A T gun predicted incorrectly. Flamethrower going down. Love Ness makes a bit of a late retreat right there. Hit another mine. Grenadiers have to retreat. Second T-34 on the field to put additional pressure on Wolf, and he has only one AT gun with which to counter two T-34s, which is just not enough. And he only has the munitions for one Faust. Which he will deploy. T-34 takes engine damage. AT gun doesn't currently have a line, apparently. There's too much foliage. Blocking the way. Don't let them flank us. And the game cannot be won. Wolf will surrender, and Love Nest takes out his first challenger of the day in a short and sweet 30 minute series. Well played, Love Nest.